Snow Plus is an experiment looking for tiny particles called neutrinos. And we do that to learn more about our universe. Snow Plus was built in Snow Lab, which is two kilometers underground inside the Creighton Mine in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. The lab has to be super clean and goes super deep. Scientists who work there have to travel a long way in the mine, and they have to take showers to clean themselves thoroughly when they arrive at Snow Lab. Why do we have to go through all the troubles to build one of the world's cleanest labs in a dirty, dusty mine? To put it simply, it is because we need to minimize background radiation. Our neutrino detector is so sensitive to radiation that if we build it on the Earth's surface, our data would be wispy doo gibberish. Two kilometers of Canadian Shield rock filters out most of the background radiation so that we can see the rare signals that we want to study. In general, background radiation refers to all kinds of radiation around us. You see, we are constantly bombarded with radiation. They can come from the sun, they can come from the earth, the rock, the soil, the dust. They can even come from our own bodies. Specifically, the background radiation that we are talking about here comes from the universe. We call that cosmic radiation. But don't worry, the Earth's atmosphere filters out most of the harmful radiation, so we are quite safe. Well, I say most. Excessive UV light exposure can be harmful, and that's why we wear UV protection, and that can be quite cool. In physics, radiation refers to the emission of energy. They can be electromagnetic waves, like X-rays and gamma rays, or they can be moving subatomic particles, such as alphas, betas, and muons. To help you see these subatomic particles, I would like to introduce you to an instrument called the cloud chamber. The cloud chamber is a particle detector invented by Charles Wilson at the end of the 19th century. We have one of these cloud chambers at Science North here in Sudbury. This one is much larger than the original. On the top, there is a heater heating up the alcohol to around 50 degrees Celsius so that it evaporates. Then, there is a cold plate on the bottom to cool the vapor to around minus 30 degrees Celsius. The cooling condenses the vapor to create a layer of supersaturated alcohol. And what does the supersaturated alcohol do? When a place in the sky is saturated with water vapor, there is a cloud. A layer of supersaturated alcohol means a cloud that is very concentrated with alcohol. The alcohol molecule is polar, which means that one side of it has a positive charge and the other side is negative. When the particles pass through the cloud of supersaturated alcohol, they pull the alcohol vapors together and leave some tracks of droplets for us to see. These tracks are known as ionization trails. Different types of radiation leave different tracks. An alpha ray is made of the alpha particle. It is basically the helium nuclei with two neutrons and two protons. The alpha ray leaves a short and wide track because it's heavy and strongly charged. A beta ray refers to an electron or a positron. It is much lighter than the alpha particle and has a lighter charge. The beta ray makes a thin track with abrupt turns. We may describe it as a zigzag. There are also muons, which are a little less known to most people. A muon is an elementary particle similar to the electron, but it has a much greater mass. A muon makes a thin, long, straight line because it is more energetic, a little bit like an electron on steroids. Let's take a look at the cloud chamber for 15 seconds. As you can see, a lot happens in a short period of time in this small area. Our Snow Plus detector is way bigger and far more sensitive than a cloud chamber. We only see about 20 neutrinos coming from the sun each day, but we see thousands of events from background radiation. Remember muons that show up as a long straight line in a cloud chamber? 
Well, we catch one around every hour lighting up snow plus like a Christmas tree, even after two kilometers of rock shielding. If the detector would be on the Earth's surface, it would glow all the time, making it impossible for us to see the rare neutrino events. Our field is called underground physics. We are underground not because it's illegal. We just have to do our experiments underground to avoid background radiation. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> and that's why wearing UV... No. <laughs> and that can be under the sun. And that can be quite cool. Okay, almost there. <laughs> Don't worry, the Earth's atmosphere... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> don't, don't worry. Our data would be whoopsie doo gibberish. <laughs> Whoopsie doo gibberish? No, 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 no. Whoopsie doo gibberish. Whoopsie doo gibberish. Slow down. Yes. Chillax. Okay.